I'm in kind of a nostalgic mood today. I think I pronounced that right. But I'm thinking a lot about high school. Um, as I do, I, for some reason, it was a very important time for a lot of people. I hated it. I really did. Um, I wasn't the popular kid. Um, I wasn't... Uh, I was made fun of a lot, but that's not what the story's about. This story is about how I never actually graduated from Foothill. So I graduated from Vase, which is a continuation school. Um, so I had this English teacher and he... He didn't have it out for me. I don't want to say that, but by the end of this, you'll you'll think that he did. So, we had just read Beowulf. Um, we were in our third quarter of of my final year, my senior year, and we we had to do this thing that he called the brag. Um, so the brag was something where it, I kind of feel like it was his way of getting us to be a little bit more confident in ourselves, um, to be able to really feel good about ourselves and, and be able to describe ourselves in such a way where it gives us a positive upswing. Anyways, so I, it, the, the reason why it ties into Beowulf is apparently that's how, that's just kind of how they spoke back then. I don't know. Um, They'd come into a room, uh, and and basically they'd be their own caller, um, or crier. They'd be they basically be their own town crier. So they would come in and they would say, "I am blah blah blah," and I have in in my village or my town, I was known for this and this and this and this. And on my way here, I did this and this and this. All super impressive things, like like crazy, like uh, I don't know, I just kind of weird to me. I don't, I don't necessarily like bragging, um, too much. That's not true. I like bragging a lot. <laughs> um, I like to say I don't like bragging, so I seem more humble. Bah. Um, so we were supposed to do this brag about ourselves and the idea behind this brag is, uh, uh that it was a competition. So everybody was going to brag about themselves to other people, which that's a really shitty thing to do. People were picking who the best person was, I've just realized. <laughs> so people were bragging about themselves in the classroom. There was like they, 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 they put them in groups. Uh, the teacher put us in groups of four. All four of us would brag against each other. The three, uh, everybody would vote for, they couldn't vote for themselves, but they'd vote for everybody else. Um, so eventually, you know, then I, the whole tier thing, everything goes up to the final two people. So there's two people left, which just so happened to be my best friend Ryan and me. Um, so he gets up and he starts bragging about uh, video games and how he's he's great. At, I think it was Mugen. He was great at Mugen, um, and and how he was he was the leader on on or he was like top of the leaderboards. And I think the final phrase that he said was something along the lines of "In the realm of pixels and polygons." Um, I know that I reign supreme, and he just like bellowed this out like it was this really deep voice, um, which was very uncharacteristic for him at that time. Um, uh, a little bit different now. Um, so he, after he was done, you know, I went second, and my brag was, in my opinion, just as good. Um, but apparently, the rest of the class didn't think so. So I was voted second, um, and. Uh, we had to turn our assignments in, so then that way the professor, or not professor, the teacher. Professor? Not professor. Professors are in college. He was a teacher. Just a teacher. Um, so he, he graded all the papers and everything like that. I was, I got the assignment back expecting to see a 100 on there because, you know, I ranked second in the class. Like, like everybody else. Like, the, you, you take me, this shy goth kid, which I was goth back then. This shy goth kid um, who was very quiet in the room, in the classroom, and was very loud outside of the classroom, and got me to start talking about um, positively about myself, which is something I never did, something I didn't like to do. I still kind of don't. Um, 
so he he wrote on the assignment, see me after class. I look at him like, what? And there was a zero as well. So there was a zero and then a see me after class. And I was like, this is weird. What's going on? So I see him after class and I politely say, hey, what the fuck, man? Um, and it's like, oh, so I saw this note on the, 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 the and you want to come and see me? Or you want me to come and see you? And he's like, he said, I know you plagiarized that. I was like, how can I plagiarize a brag about myself? I never told you what the brag was about. It was about me being Scorpio. So you can kind of see it, right? Like you can kind of see the idea that he was coming up with. Um, and so he brought up, he brought up a lot of stuff that was in the, uh, in the brag that was similar to some stuff he was finding online. I was like, well, you're not going to find two opposing descriptions of Scorpio, right? So like if I'm bragging about how I am Scorpio, then it's going to look similar to some stuff you find online, of course, right? Because it's a description about a, 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 a particular astrological sign. So he brought up this list of places that he was referencing to, and, and some of the stuff sounded pretty similar and, and everything like that, but you could, there was still reasonable doubt. There was still reasonable doubt as to whether I had plagiarized it. Um, and most of the references that he was pulling up were to Wikipedia, and I was like, what the hell? Like, you're not, you're not, you're telling me I cannot reference Wikipedia in, in any of my assignments, um, but you can still use it as a method of trying to get me for plagiarism? That doesn't make sense. Um, and clearly I hadn't, because it wasn't like, like a list or, or, like, anyways. So, being Wikipedia, it, it, it was constantly being updated, all the time. And so, this... I had gotten this assignment back four days after I had turned it in, or like a whole week or something like that. I don't know. What's important here is that the, um, or what's important about what I was going to say is that the the update date and time that they put at the bottom was last updated on blah 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 was like two or three days after I had turned in the brag, and that's mostly what he was referencing. And so I pointed that out to him. I said, look. This was updated days after I had already turned this in. How could I possibly have plagiarized this? Um, so he's freaking, not freaking out, but he's like, oh shit, like I can't, like that, that would, that would hold up. Um, so he, he pulls this phrase out of his ass, the word this phrase out of my ass because it was on my assignment. Um, and my, uh, it's actually one of the, one of the lines that I was the most proud of, um, it, it went uh, it went such as um, those who have Scorpios no how do I put it? how did I put it Scorpios often have eyes that look into the world with an almost hypnotic intensity I was very proud of that phrase I was like that's like that's what got people like hooked to to listen to the to the rest of it that was like my hook line my hooker line <laughs> um, and he pulled up this fucking mug website where you could like type in your own phrases and have them printed on mugs. Maybe no. Anyways, that that train of thought was maybe he typed it into the mug website, but that'd be really petty. He's above that. He's got to be above that. Um, so on this mug website, it said Scorpios have often have hypnotic eyes. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking brag about myself and, and pull my references about myself and about Scorpio from a mug website. Like, that's not, like, that doesn't even, uh, that's so, my life is like a sitcom. Reference my last video. Um, so, <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, he he go he brings it up to administration and everything. Oh my god, I just realized how much time I oh, how much time I've been talking or not talking. I've barely gotten through any of the story. Um, 
so he brought it up to administration and, and they went back and forth on it for like a week and a half or two weeks or something like that just fighting 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 he was pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing because they had to get permission to give me to give me a double zero which a double zero uh, if you get caught for plagiarism a double zero is they create a uh, a fake assignment and then give you a zero on that that is worth the same amount of points as the assignment that you plagiarized on the issue with this though is that the plagiarized plagiarized assignment was 30% of my grade. So he fought with them and fought with them and fought with them and eventually won. Um, so now all of a sudden I have 60% of my grade gone. Zero. I can't do anything about it. No extra credit, no makeup work, nothing. Um, so I go and talk to administration, like, you've got to reverse this. Like, this is, this is kicking me out of the, this is kicking me out of the high school. And I don't remember who the principal was at that time, but he said, look, we've got to stand behind the teachers. I was like, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. I was like, look, what, what was, what was the line? What was the line? And that's, that's when I found out what the line was. And I was like, the fuck? Like, I started yelling and cussing, and I was just so pissed because, you know, Foothill was, is a prestigious high school. It was a magnet school. It was a lottery system to get in. It was, it, like, I didn't, like, have to work my way to get in there. It was, you know, it was luck of the draw, but still, holy shit. Like, it was... <sighs> Anyways, all of that, that whole story, just to say, I never got my Foothill high school diploma. I got my vase high school diploma, which was a continuation school, and it took me a week. It took me just, like, you could test out of those classes. So it took me one week to take all the tests that I needed to complete senior year. And I was out of high school weeks before everybody else. So, yeah, I still haven't forgiven that teacher. It's not okay. I mean, uh, it, like, I feel like I'd be in a better spot right now if it wasn't for that. Um, I don't want to blame my current situation on that because it's by no means his fault, but I feel like it, my current situation could be slightly better. Anyways. <laughs> so, that's how I never actually finished at Foothill, I guess. That's my plagiarism story. I don't know remember how I started this. That's my, the last story that, or this story that I just said. Mm.